to them, actually. I was going around with my portfolio, and uh, an art director said, you know, I like what you do, but I can't really use you, but did you ever think of courtroom drawing? And this was 1969. Right. And uh, he said, uh, but you ought to do something about it soon. And I just took the advice of a stranger, and I started going around and seeing all the people in the networks. And I just happened to walk in the door at Channel 5 at the right time because Ted Cavanaugh, who was a news director, uh, happened to be looking for a courtroom artist <clears throat> for the uh, upcoming Panther trial. And of course, I wasn't aware of any of this, and uh, I, I just happened to hit it lucky enough in the timing. Uh, Let me ask you how uh, is typical a story that is. I mean, is. Is there a, a school for courtroom artists somewhere? Because uh, you guys have to have a very definite job to do in terms of portraying accurately, at least as far as I'm aware of how the news business works, uh, the feelings that went on in the courtroom. Well, there's no actual school for this. Uh, I've always preferred drawing on the spot. That that's, was always my interest. Uh, in the 60s, I spent a lot of time uh, drawing in, like, in hospitals and uh, laboratories and places like that for pharmaceutical. Okay, but the, the kind of, of art we're talking about, which we'll be taking a look at in a few minutes, uh, has very definite, definite consequences in terms of how the public perceives the people that are being drawn, the people that they'll see in the newspapers, the people they'll see on television. And uh, I wondered, uh, have you ever given any thought to the consequences your work has? Yes, I, I try very hard to be objective <clears throat> because I am aware that my feelings do come out in my drawings. And I would rather they didn't in this case. Well, uh, we're not talking about a specific uh, case, but I'll, I, and we certainly won't after this question. But suppose you get in there, and, and as happens in, in any uh, human interpersonal situation, uh, you just don't like the defendant, or you get the idea that, that, that this man or woman is as guilty as can be. Does that ever enter your mind, and do you have to squelch that kind of feeling when you're doing the drawings you do? I did have to squelch it originally. And I think now the safest thing for me is what the judge tells the jury, just assume every defendant is innocent. Now, and you, I try to do Okay, you try to do that, but you, you also get uh, an opportunity when uh, court is in session. For example, uh, you're working for a newspaper, which I imagine you, you might do sometimes, uh, or, sometimes. or for a television station. Let's say a member of the jury is uh, sound asleep during a trial. You, you get in capturing that on paper to say something about the trial or about the proceedings that gets into the public eye, uh, maybe to a jury, and how do you